today's episode we are going to take a tour of my greenhouse and we're going to cover some of the important tips for having a productive greenhouse tip number one build your greenhouse on a sunny location make sure there is no shades from home or tree falls on the greenhouse location it has to be sunny as much as possible from morning to evening tip number two get a natural ventilation this prevents greenhouse from overheating during a sunny days get an automatic vent opener or aluminum shutters even better i personally like aluminum shutters because they can be operated by an electric motor i have installed 18 inch aluminum shutter fitted with the motor on the back of the greenhouse tip number three Automate your cooling and heating of your greenhouse with an electric thermostat. For any greenhouse in the zone 9 or 10, you must need cooling fan. Without it, greenhouse can overheat during the daytime. Let me show you the shutters and fan controlled by the thermostat. Let's take an inside a look. In the back side, you can see the air intake shutters have electric motor on the bottom and the electric fan in the front side of the greenhouse. They both are connected to the same thermostat. So they both operate in the same time with the help of this electric thermostat. I have set the temperature 85 degrees. Most greenhouses recommended to maintain the temperature 85 during the daytime. Tip number four, keep water in the greenhouse. Water stores energy from the sunlight and helps the plants to keep warm during the nighttime. You can use any rain barrel or five gallon Home Depot bucket to store water inside the greenhouse. Some of the larger greenhouses have fish tanks inside the greenhouses for the same reason. The water prevents plants from freezing during the nighttime temperature. Here you can see I am keeping a five gallon bucket of water in between eggplants and they seem to be uh, living fine in the freezing nighttime temperature. Uh, with one sheet of protection and the water in between them. So they are both together keep the eggplant warm. And also I have a, a big uh, 50 gallon water container. Tip number five, build your own greenhouse. And believe me, it is a fun project. You can find a lot of good reading material in your local library for greenhouse construction ideas. Or you can Google it, or you can search in the YouTube too. There's a lot of videos about how to construct. I used 10 two by three treated wood and four four by four cedar wood for my construction work. I also used eight 10 foot PVC pipes and box up exterior screws and some rebar for securing the PVC into the ground. I also used several nuts and bolts to connect the PVC pipes. In the, some areas, I have inserted electric conduit pipes inside the PVC pipes to make it stronger. I used 12 foot wide 6 mm greenhouse plastic sheets from the greenhouse mega store online. It took me four weekends to build this greenhouse. Overall, it cost me $450 to build this greenhouse. Let me show you a little closer look how I secured the greenhouse flame to the wood in the bottom. So this is uh, sheets are attached to a wood and I have a screwed on top of it. So you can see all the way to the Front to back.
in the friend I have attached on the greenhouse sheet using the wood strip like this. I have four PVCs going from left to right of the greenhouse. Um, you can see these are inserted on the rebar I have hammered to the ground. So they are going on top of the greenhouse and going to the other side of the greenhouse. Similarly, on the left side, the greenhouse sheets are attached to the bottom wood using a small strip of wood. And then the back side also similarly. Let's go over some of the benefits of having the greenhouse. Greenhouse extends your growing season into winter months. You can continue to produce food for family. We can start seeds early. I usually start the seeds like tomatoes, eggplant in the heat mat inside the house and transfer them to the greenhouse. Those saplings continue to grow healthy in the greenhouse. You can grow some cool season vegetables like spinach, carrots, beets, kale, broccoli, Swiss chard, red sorrel, salad greens like lettuce, arugula, and many more. Another great benefit to keep in mind is you can keep the tropical plants like lemon inside the greenhouse. In those cases, you might need to run the heater in the nighttime occasionally for temperatures near or below 35 degrees. Let's see what's going on in the greenhouse. I have some um, eggplants that are I'm overwintering, and then um, I have sowed some uh, seeds for spinach earlier. Two weeks ago, they are sprouting here. I have some open space available for some plants here. I have some Swiss chard and red sorrel. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. Please subscribe to our channel and thank you for your support.